Hello, everyone. Hello everyone, we will just give a uh, couple of me more minutes for participants to join. Not much, we will just start the session soon. Well, let's get started with today's session. So first of all, welcome to each and everyone who's joined this call. It's a pleasure having you all here. And I'm very sure that, uh, and I would also like to thank that you all have made time for yourself and uh, joined this session. So let us start today's session where we talk about uh, the latest features which has been uh, delivered in the last uh, deployments. So recently we have done very minor improvements and some of the changes to the application, which we would be talking up, uh, discussing up today. So the latest features we would discuss today in terms one is on the standard product feature. What are the changes which has been brought in, and then also on the premium feature side, the improvement what has come up. Those we will be discussing this. And before we start this session, I would like to say that we have a Q&A section which is open where you can uh, raise your queries in this uh, session uh, whenever you need. And in interval, we would take up this Q&A session and Q&A and we would answer all the questions which has come up. 
the request is to put a, a question here so that on the benefit of others this even these can be clarified and we would also publish this uh, queries over here this will be a recorded session and this recording will be soon be updated in the in our uh, audit 360 youtube channel and as a reference you can refer this and also we'll bring this part of our knowledge to 60 where this uh, session can also be taken up so let's start for today's uh, updates let us go with the uh, updates for today so today the latest uh, standard product feature site right? there are uh, few of the improvements what has been bought in so the first uh, feature which we would like to talk about is what we have seen in the application is the, the multiple places we have digital evidences which can be captured, which could be your maybe during execution of the audit, maybe to, towards your sign off process or issue resolution or any other uh, the process related to the schedule related. The digital evidence is made uh, available and certain places these digital evidences are being kept as optional and certain places it has been kept as mandatory. So to have more flexibility for such digital evidences, whether it has to be a mandatory or a optional one, we have made some change to the application where at a checkpoint level itself, we can decide uh, whether these digital evidences can is required because certain time what happens, basis the criticality of the issue, we would need to tag certain evidences being mandated and maybe the low preferred uh, checkpoints need not have these evidences. So to bring in more flexibility and uh, flavorable to the application, we have made these changes which at a checkpoint creation time itself, we can decide whether this digital evidence should be made, made mandatory or at what level. So this helps the user for the system also to run the required validation or the right time and uh, capture the required information as uh, requested by the super admin. So let us see how this feature works on the application. I am moving to switching over to the Audit 360 application. Just give me a second. Let me change my screen. I'm into the Audit 360 application on my demo server. I'm logging into my ID. So this change is come up in the checkpoint module. Under the manage checkpoints, we can see this information. So let us create one group and let me show this configuration. So I'm using a general group for ease of demo purpose and fix score I'm giving a which is of 19 December webinar. I'm adding a new group. The new group has been added. I'm adding a checkpoint. Now if you see on the checkpoint screen, you have a new tab which has come up which says digital evidence to be mandatory. So this is a new tab which is introduced where at a checkpoint level we can define whether the digital evidences are required or not and on default the digital evidence will be kept on the issue re-examine because currently this is a feature where the mandatory digital evidence is applied if in case a user is not willing to have a issue uh, digital evidence mandatory for re-examine of the uh, points during the sign off they can just disable this let me just create a couple of checkpoints to show how this functionality would work. I'm just taking the checkpoint as intent. Maybe for ease of demo purpose, I'm giving checkpoint one. Check evidence. Feature. Here I am considering this as uh, I'm giving this for a audit execution time, execution mandatory. For ease of identification, I'm giving this. I'm selecting this as verify. 
and we give the relevant information which is required. Test. So I'm just not taking NA or partial. Maybe NA, I just a couple. Doing one more here. That's one as two dispositions. So here I'm choosing only during audit execution. I'm not choosing during issue early examine or during issue resolution. First, let me explain what this digital evidence mandatory and what stage it is expecting for. If we opt for during audit execution, when auditor is executing the audit for this checkpoint, the digital evidence will be tagged as mandatory. Without giving an digital evidence, the auditor will not be able to move ahead. So in this uh, demo, I have chosen this checkpoint as during audit execution. The next is during issue re-examine. As part of the sign off process, we also have a digital evidence attaching, but for re-examine of the checkpoints, when an auditor choose for re-examine, the digital evidence are mandatory. Here we can decide whether it needs to be mandatory or not. If it is unchecked, then it is an optional field while re-examine. The system doesn't provoke the user to tag the digital evidences and it can be submitted for re-examination without the digital evidence also or it can be given with digital evidence. So this is also an optional here now. Then next is a during issue resolution when an audit side user is trying to do an issue resolution whether the issue resolution has to be uh, time the digital evidence has to be mandatory or not are we defining. If we choose this then during the issue resolution the evidences will be made mandatory. Now I'm just tagging the risk. I'm creating one more checkpoint. I'm choosing one more checkpoint, which is trying to giving check. No mandatory digital evidence and here I'll just quickly take this as again verify we give us one no disposition required here zero next one I don't take NA or partial here I'm not selecting any of the digital evidences I think this is high so let us submit. I have created two checkpoints. So basis each of your checkpoint wherever the evidences has to be mandatory can be used for the testing purpose. Now let me just quickly create an configure audit to show how the mandatory would work. I'm creating an audit type. Selecting. 19 December. Webinar. Using branch, and I'm right away creating a parent audit with the general group, selecting the same uh, group which I had just created. The two checkpoints I'm moving ahead, just giving a quickly a risk scoring and other configuration I would like to take up. Marinating audit is sign off. Quickly finishing the audit type here. Submitting this. Let me finish the audit here as we know as well. I'm giving the choosing the same audit type which I just created now. So I can finish the configuration.
Now let me schedule an audit to show that in our configuration we had taken during the execution, the audit has to be mandatory. So let us see how this functionality would work. I'm creating a schedule quickly. This is the audit type which we just created. Then just taking rest of the information. choosing an audit team. I'm just not take, giving any review period. I'm giving today's date. The audit is created. Let me switch over to auditor role. If you can see there is a schedule which is there. I'm just starting with a schedule. Oops. And now into a normal mode of execution. So there is checkpoints. This was a checkpoint where audit uh, execution time we had asked for a mandatory execution. Let me just give this as no. Then test one. Next here it says digital evidence is mandatory because we had tagged at a checkpoint level. This checks for the mandatory evidence until unless we give an evidence, it will not allow us to move ahead. So I'm just quickly quickly giving an evidence so that the mandatory functionality can be overruled. Just give OK. Now when I'm clicking on next, it will take me to the next checkpoint. Now here. I'm just clicking on yes. And because we didn't give a digital evidence mandatory, I'll be able to finish the audit. Let me just see if there are any position and clicking on finish audit. So this functionality will be working now at a checkpoint level. So now the whatever the changes we saw in the checkpoint screen, the same changes has also been added into the uh, store procedure which is our uh, in our csv upload all your checkpoint upload template will also carry this information and we can do this configuration mapping even at the checkpoint uh, level so this is something on uh, change which we have made in the application where we are able to define whether the digital evidences are mandatory at a checkpoint level for different stage of an activity any queries on this so let me check if there are any queries on q and &A. So if you have any queries on this, please do write to us in the q and &A. And these are the standard product feature change and you should be able to see this in your application. So let me just now move to the next one. So now we saw uh, the digital evidence selection part. Now the next one is we have made an improvement to an user experience improvement, which is at, during also at the audit execution stage. So what happens during the audit execution is every time when you're executing the audit and when you choose any compliance, the respective dispositions has to be manually selected even though when there were single uh, dispositions. Now we have uh, enabled this where when there are single disposition, the automatically the execution can inherit this information and auto selection can be done and help the auditors to move ahead. So this could save an auditor's time in case when there are even singles uh, or disposition and also help for a smoother execution here. So here there is no configuration or anything required. It is an improvement which is made to an existing feature. As an experience, you could see this. Let me switch over to the application to show how this functionality would work. So I'm again coming back to Audit 360 application. Now in the manage checkpoint, now what we had created, let us take the same checkpoints and if you see in this checkpoint, one of the checkpoint, checkpoint one had multiple selection for no, which is two dispositions are there and NA has single uh, disposition. Whereas in checkpoint two, we have only one selection for one disposition for 
uh, no. So let us see how what happens when we are executing the audit and you can realize the change what has been happened. I'm switching over to the auditor role. Now in the same used case, let us see how this functionality would appear. I'm creating a schedule, selecting the same audit type. December. In the auditing, I'm selecting today's date only. Even in date of same, and creating the schedule. I'm starting an audit. So as you normally do your execution, you can continue doing the execution. The change what you could see in the application is. Let me just start the execution. So this is a checkpoint one which had no had to disposition on click of no. It will ask me for a selection to be done between test one test one because there are more than one uh, checkpoint. Whereas when I click as NA automatically the disposition which has single disposition would get captured and it will allow us to move ahead. So I can click on next. And your digital evidence is there. Let me just quickly give this because it was the same use case. I'm just using evidence to be picked up. So given evidence. So again, I would like to show if I change it to no, it will not. It lasts me to take the disposition. There is no auto selection which happens because it has got more than one. The moment you change to any. The selection is happening. So if I go next in our checkpoint two, we had disposition given for only no, where it was a single disposition. So when I give us no, the selection happens automatically. And if you see, there are no further dispositions here. So this is a change which we have bought in application, which gives more experience wise, uh, more smoother audits for auditors so that they can quickly finish the audit when there are only single dispositions are there. So we'd like to finish the audit. This is one more improvement which we have bought. Apart from this, we have minor improvements uh, which we have done, which I would like to show is uh, if I move on to the audit, the, the super admin level, for example, when I'm creating a schedule. So when, let me take one audit when I'm creating a schedule. I'm creating a schedule. Earlier when we are creating a schedule, only the first name of an auditor was appearing. So this could have an experience challenge where uh, most of the reviewers or the super admin were facing where they felt like identifying when there are more than one. Uh, if there are names with more than one person, similar names and it was identifying with those names would be difficult. So we what we did is we have now introduced even the first name and last name of the user so that it is easy for someone to quickly identify the right auditors and do this selection. So I'm just giving this for tomorrow's schedule. If you see the auditor name now, you can see there are both first name and last names. Earlier, the name what if you would see only was the first name. Now you could see the full name of the auditor. This gives a more reference to the uh, audit so that is easy for the or uh, super admin to select the right to auditors and do the schedule part. This is one minor improvement which we had in the other minor improvement. What we have come up is at the audit side in the audit login when there is an audits for sign off. We have let me just take some process which where I can show you this. Selecting the audits which are already submitted and the sign off is expected. I'm taking this audit. There are no audit, uh, checkpoints here, so I'm taking some other audits for now. So here this workflow is all same and when you look at the details part, 
there is the auditor remarks being shown here. Earlier, this auditor remarks tab was not there. All the relevant to the remarks were to come to the remarks tab and check for the information. Now, this has been uh, captured in the checkpoint uh, listing screen only. So it's easy for the audit user to refer all the information in the single sheet where you need not keep on switching over to the tabs and read the information and do the respective action in the same screen itself. So we have bought in the auditor remarks details in this checkpoint listing screen, which helps the user to have a better performance and the user experience is also be increased. So this is one more change which we have made to the application. So these were on the standard product side. So is there any questions? Let us see if there are any questions which is related to this. So we on the standard product side, the latest feature what we had was on mandated digital evidence selection at the checkpoint level, then auto selection of a dispositions when there are single disposition and then other improvements which we spoke about on the auditor list, auditor name listing and also the remarks being showing in the auditing screen. So now if let me just quickly check if there are any queries. Uh, if there are any queries, please do write on the Q&A section. I think there are uh, some queries. Just a minute. Let me just check these questions. There is a question which says that while creating the checkpoint have selected digital evidence as during the audit execution, which means that the auditor have to add the evidence even when the checkpoint is complied or does it work only if the checkpoint is not complied? No, if the checkpoint, if the uh, digital evidence is marked as mandatory at whatever level we are being giving, so even now in the case of the question which has been asked which is during the audit execution irrespective it is an input or if it is an verify checkpoint if which caters for a compliance or a non-compliant the digital evidence is mandatory the reason why we are doing that is that if we if we are not restricting the collection of even the digital evidence is a collection of information so this is not restricted only for a non-compliant uh, checkpoint even if there is an expected that an evidence to be captured if there is some uh, in, along with an information as a proof that this has been done is also can be captured and if it is a very critical process and there as an evidence it is mandatory to capture then it is useful such feature is useful for an auditor to attach to the respective checkpoint and can be reviewed so it doesn't have a limitation whether it is uh, complied or non-complied also with if it is an input or a uh, mandatory checkpoints now similarly when audit execution when we are asking with if we have tagged this with re-examine it's a straightforward one but if you have tagged this as a resolution also you can have the digital evidences which are man there is no restriction over there so this let me just quickly respond to this Sides. Yeah, so is there any other questions? Let me just check. Yeah, these were the question which we saw now. Let us now move to the next slide. Before that, uh, we would like to uh, say again, if you have any queries, please do write to us in the Q&A because as you ask the queries, it's also helpful for self and for others to get it clarified and uh, maybe it could be an information to the others as well. So now let us move to the latest feature on the premium side, the changes which has come in the premium uh, feature side. In both the existing parallel view and deemed audit sign off, there is a improvement which has been bought and it has got an interlink connection as well. 
so we would like to talk more about this uh, feature so whichever whoever has subscribed to this feature which is a parallel view and deem not it is sign off would be more uh, useful so would like to cover the changes what has come up here so earlier in when the premium feature of parallel view is enabled when the audit the purpose of the parallel view is when the audits are in progress the parallelly all the information related to the particular schedule where respective it is a compliant or non compliant or input information should be transparently available for audit and everything could be seen now we can have we have additional layer to which where you can define whether you would want to show only issues rather than showing all the checkpoints uh, to the audit if you would want to have this feature but show only the issues not all the checkpoints then we could be able to show this uh, only issues to the audits which were in parallel we can have this enabled then in association with this currently the deemed audit sign off deemed audit sign off is been applied on a uh, basis once the audit is been submitted the, there is a tag which gets calculated and basis the tag if there are no manual sign off done by the audit the system would automatically make this deemed audit sign off the sign off would be taken uh, or updated uh, by the application but here with the parallel view being brought in as a combination and when only issues been there we would now be able to put a audit sign off even at a issue creation level like for example you are we are doing an audit and parallelly we are showing the issue so that the audit can also parallelly work on so if on the day one we have executed the audit i have multi day audit and i would be submitting my audit on the third or the fourth day of the audit so if i would want because i am showing already the issues to the audit to parallelly work on i can have this deem audit sign off from the from the day when this issue creation has happened so on the day one if i have identified two issues on those two issues i can set what is the tag required if i am on the day two i am identifying four issues it can the tag whatever we define will start calculating from the second day of my audit when the issue was tagged in so this helps in uh, having the sign off process tagging done at the issue creation level and once all the issues are been man either manually or by automatically it is being taken as signed off then this or uh, the system would consider the audit process as signed off i just have one question to attend let me just quickly check this in case if we selected during audit execution then while sign off process if audit user request for re examine then does the system ask the evidence as mandatory so here the question is been asked is while we created a checkpoint we have chosen that it's a do mandatory during audit execution and we have not opted for re exam if re exam in time the digital evidence was not checked in where we have unchecked that and we have made this as optional then irrespective it is at the during the audit execution or if there are no checkpoint no additional evidence has been opted as mandatory if a re exam in additional evidence is not made mandatory while resigning of the process for re exam in digital evidence will not be asked as mandatory even if the audit user does not give the digital evidence they will be able to successfully give a re exam in action button there option I'm just publishing this so this was on the premium feature let me now quickly switch over to show how this configuration does look and how we can utilize this so i may not be able to show the complete flow where this process can be seen with but i can show the configuration which can be enabled because the team audit sign off and all will be an activity which will be done for minimum 24 hours or 48 hours based on the configuration been given so 
Demonstrating this feature in full would not be possible. However, I would like to show the configuration part of it to show you how this Hoover have the premium feature enabled for parallel view or redeem dot design off can make this necessary changes done and utilize the new improvement which has come up. Let me just switch over to the application. Pardon me, I'm just uh, changing the screen. I'm taking an application screen. Switching over to Super Admin. So as parallel view and deem notity sign off are the configurable item under configure audit. So let me just come to configure audit to show how this configure audit can be uh, enabled. Using configure audit. Let me quickly create one audit type and come to the configure page. Next parent audit, same I'm just taking. Choosing the checkpoint group. Next. We have come to configure page. In configure, we have whether do you want to do, do you want to enable the parallel view for this audit? So this is an existing premium feature. Do you want to enable the parallel view for this uh, audit? This was already an available for those who have already subscribed for this feature. On enabling this, all the checkpoints relating to the particular schedule or an audit type was parallelly made visible for the audit even when the audits were uh, in progress. So here, just enabling was happening. Now when you enable, you could see there is two information subpoints coming under. As a default, it is complete audit, which is an existing uh, feature, and uh, hence it has been kept under default. In case you would want to move it to an only issue level, you can choose this. By choosing only issue, the system would not show all the checkpoints pertaining to this audit type of the audit during when the audits are in progress, only issue. So for example, if it is a multi-day audit, on day one I have not identified any issues or a non-compliance, those particular issue, because there is no issue, there is no information available to the audit because there are no issues. But on the day two when I have identified an issue, then the issue when it has been identified will start reflecting to the audit as well with the action buttons. Here, but in the first case, which is complete audit view, once the audit is started, as and when the audit checkpoints are getting executed, irrespective it is and complied or non-complied or input, it start appearing to the audit and on a view or an actionable mode. But whereas in only issue view, you can decide to show only issues in audits when it is in progress as well. So this is one of the improvement which we have bought in under the panel view. So here on deemed audit sign off, when we have a combination of deemed audit sign off along with parallel view, only then this change is being shown. Otherwise, if you have only the deemed audit sign off as a subscription feature and do not have parallel view, then this improvement will not be applicable to you because it, it works in the combination of uh, this feature. So if I choose deemed audit sign off, let me just quickly enable the deemed audit sign off. Here, enable. Do you want to enable deemed audit sign off? So earlier, what you would see, let me just show this. If you do not have a parallel view, when you choose and enable deemed audit sign off, which is at this level, it will only ask you at audit submission level. It used to ask only for the default tag days for waiting for an audit to give a sign off or 
to get a deem.xt or an extension date, only this information comes. But if you have a deem.xt sign off as well as a parallel view, whereas the parallel view you have instead of selecting complete view, you have chosen only issues level, then you can choose the configuration at issue creation level. The reason why this has a connection is that both of this uh, feature has been in, in applicable to the audit relevant to the audit sign off process and on the parallel view with showing the only issue on creation of the issue we are being showing to the audit where they can even start working on those issue so you can if you required you can define the tags at the creation level rather not wait till the submission level so you, you can decide between whether it can be a submission level. If it is submission level, once the audit is submitted, like for example, it is one day audit, doesn't make much difference. But when you have multi-day audits and your audits gets final submission happens on fourth day of the audit. And from that day, the tag is being given to the auditee to wait for this auditee to sign off. But here, when we are enabling the parallel and we are also showing the issues in parallelly, so at the creation level, the issue has been created only. We can show the uh, issues and we can also define the tag required. So here I can define one day or two. Here the days has been allowed, not the hours. So it takes on days and it will be a calendar days. So one, if you give one day, so from the date of this creation, for example, if 19th is the day when the issue has been created and my tag defined is for one day, it waits for the system for till tomorrow, which is one day because 19 plus one is 20, tomorrow is 20. 20th, it waits for to see if a user actions on this particular issues. If no action happen, it expects it is re-examine or acceptance. It looks, waits for the manual intervention. In case if there are no manually, there is no uh, acceptance process happen. Basis the tag defined, the system would automatically make this issue as an accepted issue by an oddity. So this feature would work in combination of uh, both and uh, whoever has this feature, then we can uh, have this information used much uh, further. Let me just see if uh, there are any queries. What happens to the checkpoint that does not have digital evidence as backup? I think it is a, a different question to ask. Maybe you can get in touch with the support to understand this uh, better. Please contact Amaya or our support. The feature here, we are not talking about the backup, hence I'm not covering this here. Yeah. There are no other queries. So this is on the uh, application which we wanted to show the latest changes which has happened. So this application wise changes would be more useful and can bring more user experience to the all the role users and especially an auditor which could help in uh, doing much faster audits. The latest features which we wanted to discuss, I would want to know if there are any questions, feedback or comments here. I request if you have any questions or feedback, please write to us here. And if you have any preferences on the topics to be covered on webinar, any feature or refresh or training to be taken up 
are interested in any feature you want us to give a webinar please do let us know you can mention in this chat window or for q and a or you can always get in touch with the, us for further information let us give some time to check if there are any questions to come up Any queries, please do write to us in the Q&A section. OK, we presume that there are no queries and we are good for the day. But however, we would like to say we would we are away from away from uh, just one call away or one email away where you can always get in touch with us and have further discussion. So keep in touch and uh, do let us know if any thing to be done. So thank you all for making up to join this call and uh, have pleasure to have you all. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.